three planes carrying more than 150 foreign nationals from the South Sudanese capital, Juba, have arrived in Uganda. Citizens from Germany, the United Kingdom, Italy, Japan, India and China have been evacuated. Many of them are working for foreign embassies and organizations in South Sudan. They have not been told when or if they can return. Meanwhile, the White House has confirmed it has sent in around 47 soldiers to protect American citizens in Juba. Our correspondent Kevin McNeese reports. According to a White House statement, the personnel will remain in South Sudan until the security situation becomes such that their presence is no longer needed. The troops are expected to bolster security at the U.S. Embassy and help with the departure of U.S. citizens from the country. Described as combat ready, the personnel touched down in South Sudan on Tuesday. U.S. officials adding that over 100 extra troops based in Djibouti could also be deployed if the unrest persists. In light of events, the U.S. Embassy in Juba announced that two charter flights are being offered to evacuate American citizens to Entebbe on Thursday. The U.S. State Department had already said essential embassy personnel would remain in place. Ahead of these announcements, the United States government condemned the violence that has left some 300 people dead as inexcusable and senseless and warned war crimes could be brought against those responsible.